We sing about the love of God a lot because there's nothing like it. His love is more satisfying than any experience on earth. His love is limitless in its perfection. But when we hear the word love, we can't ignore our own memories of fragile and finite human relationships. Our culture and our brokenness inform our understanding of what love is. And yet, the love of God is not just some abstract thought. It's anchored in something so concrete, so unmoving. His holiness. We tend to sing and to speak about one or the other. His love or His holiness. But God's Word constantly highlights both. God is love and God is holy. Christ hanging on a cross is the most profound demonstration of this. God's holiness demands a sacrifice for our sinfulness. It's the only good and just response to our rebellion. But because God loves us, He saves us. 1 John 4 says, And this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He has loved us, and He sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Jesus was the propitiation for our sins, the atoning, perfect sacrifice who took the full fury of our sentence upon Himself when He took our sins away. This is the gospel. This is the good news. This is love. Sin compels us to cover our nakedness and to hide from God. But now through Christ, there's no reason to hide anymore. His love is not abstract. His love is not sentimental. He loves us with a holy love. And the more we see the holiness of God, the more we see how deep, how undeserved His love is. And then we can begin to love others in the same way that He is loved.